Sam Bankman-Fried started his 2023 by claiming that he did nothing wrong. The disgraced FTX CEO pleaded not guilty to eight counts of fraud and conspiracy regarding the collapse of crypto exchange FTX and its sister hedge fund Alameda Research. Back in December 22, SBF was released on a $250 million bond to live with his parents' house in California. Yes, he did not end up in some rotten prison cell. He is living with his parents, in comfort. After appearing in court, and pleading not guilty, it seems like he will try his best, to keep it that way. The not guilty plea was expected. SBF has always maintained the story, that the collapse of FTX, and the mishandling of the customer money, was nothing more than snobby record keeping, and a mislabeled folder on a computer. In his story, all the alleged fraud, FTX customers' money deposits, that were transferred to Alameda Research without their knowledge, artificial valuation of SBF's companies, all of them were just glitches. As SBF said many times, quote, I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Two of SBF's partners in crime, Caroline Ellison and Gary Wang, both pleaded guilty and are cooperating with the federal prosecutors on an $8 billion fraud charge. But SBF always casted blame on others, saying the people who were running the hedge fund are to blame. SBF also claims that the whole thing is just a really big misunderstanding. SBF is being represented by a lawyer named Mark Cohen, who previously represented Ghislaine Maxwell. During SBF's bail of $250 million, for which his parents pledged their Palo Alto house. But that house is worth $4 million. The rest came from two anonymous signees who pledged for $246 million for SBF's bail bond. On the court appearance, SBF asked the judge to keep the names of these two individuals who helped secure his bail so that they can avoid public scrutiny and potential harassment. The judge agreed to this request, saying, there is no need for public disclosure. They argued, SBF's parents are already getting threats. So if the two guarantors' name become public, they may be subject to harassment and serious threats. A trial date for SBF's criminal charges are set for October 2, 2023, which is almost a year away. In high-profile criminal defenses, the strategy from the attorneys is usually persistence, discipline, denial, and a willingness to push back on every point. By looking at SBF's recent statements, it seems like he is following the strategy. He is denying any wrongdoing and keep blaming everyone else other than himself. If SBF is found guilty, after potentially years of hearing and appeals, he is looking at a maximum of 115 years in prison. But, with his mommy's and daddy's money and power, it seems unlikely he will ever see a day in jail. In the meantime, he will just comfortably reside in his parents' house until the trial reaches a decision.